Do you want to build your own game for augmented reality using markers? But you don't know where to start with? This is your package. Learn how to show models in your AR environment. Use different multi AR Eco markers in order to show different models. And interact with the markers in order to move a helicopter around your scene. Download the package from the description link. Welcome to this part of the tutorial in which we're going to show how to get your file system working. To do so, you have to go to OpenCV, as you can see here, and you have to download the OpenPlusCV that is completely free. You can import it into your project and I will explain exactly what you you must expect of this and when it's built you will see that you have a folder that is called OpenCV plus Unity so here you have all the um, scripts you need for making your game work properly so this will create this OpenCV plus Unity folder now you have to go to project settings and in player and in other settings you have an option that says allow unsafe code you have to mark it as correct otherwise you will have some com compiling problems so remember to set this to true okay the next step is to obtain the police car and helicopter asset that is completely free too so you put heli and car and uh, or helicopter free and you have this one here exactly and you have to import it into your project and once you have import imported that into your project you will have this folder that is called police car and helicopter finally you import our project that is called the AR simple core and you can find it like I AR simple core and it will be this one here maybe the image will be different because we are changing the parameters of this asset at the moment but once you have imported this you have you will have the following um, file structure you will have the AR simple core and inside you will have the plus OpenCV that is the new feature of this version that is called the version 10.0 This version of the AR Simple Core works with OpenCV as a base, but you will be able to create also some applications for your Android device without any kind of problem. So let's explain the st basic structure of our asset. First of all, we have a menu scene in which we can select the different three different scenes that we have on our package. These are the AR Simple Core 1 marker, then we have the multiple IDs, and finally the interaction. The first step you have to take is to create your marker. To do so, you can go to the online AR Yuko marker generator. Remember to select the dictionary of 6x6, and then you can select also the different IDs for the markers. We have used the markers 0, 1, 2 and 3. You can also find them in your file system inside the OpenCV marker 0, 1, 2 and 3, which is a PDF that you can print. So once you have printed them, we can start with our menu scene by hitting play. Let's go to the one marker detector. The one marker detector loads the camera and it's able to detect one marker at a time as you can see in this video the result is quite stable and fast you can use the arrow here to go back to the menu scene what happens if we want to go and use different markers with different IDs and if we want to show different game objects in each of those markers we have to go to the second option to the second scene 
in which you can see that we are building we are building um, different models in each of the IDs in function of the value so this ID here is going to be 1 this one here is going to be 0, 2 and 3 and in fact we can manage with this package multiple of the of the different uh, IDs and finally let's go to interaction interaction is a quite interesting package in which you can move a helicopter from one marker to another so let's check it out the as you can see we are building different canvases on, on top of each of the markers and whenever we click the helicopter will turn and will go from one marker to another by just clicking on top of the of the different uh, canvases so that's all regarding the different scenes now we're going to show how the different scripts work let's go first to the zero zero scene in this scene we can see that we will have a structure in which we contain the AR camera and the AR simple core plus OpenCV what is important to notice is that we have set the cooling mask to almost everything except the cam image for the main camera and the opposite thing for another video camera that only shows the cam image here so in fact what we are doing is using two cameras one for the video feedback so one is being used if we hit play for the video feedback here that will be this canvas here and another one for the virtual uh, game object that is going to be on top of that canvas if you go to the main parameters of the script the marker detect you will see that we have the width the head height of the um, of the resolution of the camera then a reference to the raw image that is going to be the image in which we are placing the webcam texture and then we have some parameters that are from the camera that are set to um, normal or to uh, usual parameters when we have a specific resolution so in fact you can see that the focal length in X and Y is usually the value of the width and then we have the CX and the CY that are the displacements of the focal length that <laughs> are going to be half of the value of the width then we have the square, the square size which will be approximately in millimeters the size of the marker and then we have here a translation and rotation that are only the back values that you can use in order to, sh to show the values calculated by the script then we have the axis here the model and then we have different game objects that are used to place the game object inside the canvas so for example this v1 v2 v3 and v4 and the center are just game objects that are as you can see here um, inside the canvas inside the raw image and they're going to be on top and they're going to check the vertices of the marker so if we go again here then we have different booleans that are going to change the behavior of the uh, camera feedback so for example if we, we want want to uh, to show the the uh, vertices we can deselect this and the vertices won't show up if we don't want to display the axis we can do the same thing and if we don't want to display the model we can do the same thing okay so those are just booleans that are to uh, that are uh, designed to show or not to show the information in your camera if we open the marker detect script I can just explain briefly what is going on on this uh, structure so the first thing we have to do is to open and play, make the camera play with the device name width and height we, we used and this is going to be the main um, part of the script that is used to 
uh, to make the camera work. Then if we go to the image treatment, we can see that we are using first a detect uh, marker script that is the CV Uco detect marker script using a dictionary, the corners and different parameters that you can see in the script that are fully commented and after that we go and we solve with PMP okay, the position of that marker once we have used that we use the Rodriguez uh, algorithm to get the rotation matrix and with the rotation matrix we, get, we are able to obtain a quaternion and with that quaternion we are also able to display our models at the end so as you can see here these lines of code what do it's just display the model in the correct position with the current scale and with the correct rotation of the model adapt to the position, rotation and scale of the marker. So this is how it works.